Cancer, welcome to your first May reading. Um, good to see you guys. We're going to be doing an energy check-in, um, looking into your energy, see what's going on around you in your life, what you need to know right now, what spirit's wanting to speak to you, um, and every aspect of your life. We will dive into love if that comes up, but we will look at love more specifically in the extended reading. There's two ways to access the extended. It's Patreon, um, where you can do a membership, um, low monthly, monthly membership fee for all of the extendeds. There's also other perks for signing up, depending on what level you sign up at. So check that all out. I have it all written out in the description box. Um, there's only a couple. I'm going to be closing out the levels that I have now and introducing new levels. Um, and I only have a couple spots left in the current levels right now. Okay. So like my lowest, uh, membership level is a dollar 11 a month and you get access to all the extended readings that level is going to go bye bye. So, um, if you want to lock yourself in to that price for all the extended readings, I would go and do so. Cause there's only two spots left, uh, as well as the other spots. There's no spots left in the $25 tier anymore. Um, I may make some kind of tier similar to that one in the future, but that tier has um, a 30 minute reading every month and that's going to no longer be there. So um, check all of that out. I have it all written out in the description box. Also, you can access the extended through a one-time purchase, okay, through my PayPal. Um, I would love for you to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate everybody's uh love and likes and subscribes um you guys you cancer have really pushed me towards meeting my um my goals and seeing like my dreams actualizing on youtube and you guys have been you know really number one next to sagittarius as far as views subscriptions and all of that so i really really appreciate you guys okay so this is for cancer sun moon rising venus uh, if it doesn't resonate for you, check your other placements or you can book a personal reading. You can access, you can contact me through my Instagram, my Facebook group, um, or my email address. Okay. You can also book a reading through my website, right? It's easier just to email me. Email address is below. I forgot to mention right now when you sign up at the $7 and 77 level on Patreon, um, you get a free 30 minute reading for doing so. Okay. There's other perks to that level as well. So check that out. Only two spots left there. All right, you guys, let's get to this. See what's going on for cancer spirit. What is going on for cancer? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. What is going on for cancer? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Okay. We have attachment in the upright. Sixth chakra in the reverse with the sun in the reverse. Okay. You may be going through a time where you are recognizing some kind of attachment um, that you have to a person, place, or thing. Some kind of unhealthy attachment. Okay. Even to, maybe to a behavior of yours. With the sixth chakra in the reverse, it kind of makes me think that you're lacking some awareness of it. With the sun in reverse, this attachment is creating some level of unhappiness, unfulfillment, that sort of thing. Let's get a few car more cards and see what else comes out. There's some kind of chakra block here with the third eye. Um, I feel like usually the chakra block is what spirit has told me is it's due to fear, okay? Because Faith, seeing things through the eyes of the higher self is the third eye. Um, that fear, that ego mind blocks that third eye from functioning properly, okay? As well as fluoride, so don't use fluoride. Okay. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Store to Spirit in the reverse. Please comment below if you're on my wavelength on that one. <laughs> I'm really, yeah, anyways. I'm a little bit of a conspiracy theorist, but a lot of it's not conspiracy. It's truth. It, it's out there if you look for it, okay? Um, so Door to Spirit in the reverse with the indecision. All right, here's the deal. You guys are dealing with some kind of attachment to something that's creating an indecision. It's creating this inability to make a firm decision here. Um, and what it's doing, I mean, this indecision and this attachment, look at this, okay? This indecision and attachment is blocking the third eye, it's blocking your happiness, and it's blocking this door to spirit. It's blocking this flow um, between you and your higher power, your higher self, whatever it is that you um, feel like it is, okay? So there's a decision that needs to be made on your guys' end. We have the world on the bottom of the deck, which is a closing of a chapter. You guys are coming to the end of a chapter, um, and I feel like to move things forward, there's a big decision that has to be made, and um, dealing with some level of attachment, either letting go of an attachment, okay, um, so you can make a decision, or letting go of the attachment to the outcome, because uh, you guys may be in a place of indecision because you're just attached to an outcome. Like, what if it doesn't work out the way that I want it to? So you're attached to that outcome. Um, so it makes you fearful. It creates indecision and all of that. You got to release the attachment to the outcome and say, um, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but I have to at least try. I have to at least take this leap of faith. I have to at least make this decision or else I'm going to go bonkers okay i feel this energy of like mental frustration and anxiety like it's it's this kind of chaotic mental energy of like i don't know what i'm gonna do what should i do should i do this should i do that should i do this and kind of goes back and forth back and forth okay let's get a couple cards out From here oh my god fork in the road in the reverse new life in the reverse and thinker in the reverse you guys i can't make this stuff up thinker in the reverse is that place of like mental ah fear i don't know what to do like normally this card in the upright is about a logical thinking okay like methodical logical thinking that is totally normal but in the reverse it's crazy brain you know like feeling fearing the worst thinking the worst thinking this way thinking that way and then look at this fork in the road in the reverse not being able to make a decision i'm able to make the decision on which way you want to go with the new life in reverse this is like that world card okay the closure of a chapter it's like it can't happen until this decision is made there has to be some kind of decision and you have to let go of the craziness in your brain on you know the attachment to this outcome of of a situation because um you know the thing about taking a leap of faith is that you don't know the outcome to the attachment like that fifth chakra in reverse man holding a heart in reverse and the thinking man in reverse okay you guys there's there's something that you need to say and, and then it's on your heart all right you're you're thinking about it way too much you're way too up in your head about it and you're blocking your throat chakra as well from, um, yeah, you're blocking your throat chakra by not speaking up and saying what's on your mind. You guys get this card every single time in the reverse. There's something that's needing to be said on your end that is not being said. There's a decision that needs to be made that's not being made. And there's um, a new chapter in your life that wants to open once you make this decision, okay? And you can't sit in fear any longer can't sit in fear any longer the decision has to be made and you have to move forward all right let's get some moonology cards well that came out oh my god surrender to the divine wow surrender to the divine don't let let your past hold you back north no sorry south node don't let your past hold you back I feel like for a lot of you, there's something in your past that's holding you back from making this decision. Um, 
some kind of attachment to something in your past, I feel like is make help um, creating this indecision. Okay. So you could be like wanting to move towards, let's say a person that, that you really like or something, but you have something in the past, maybe a past relationship or a past hurt, a past wound that you feel like is keeping you held back. Um, that you keep thinking about that every time you think about this, you know, like I really like this person, but I think about being hurt again every single time I think about this person. I can't get over that um, connecting one with the other. That other person is not your past person. That other person is, you know, I mean, we just, we have to live by faith and we have to let go of the outcome. What if you do get hurt? You'll heal, heal, you'll grow. Okay, you're not going to die. <laughs> I don't know, it feels like it, right? A time for healing, okay? So still dealing with um, healing, and I feel like of the past. Show the world the real you, okay? So cancer is, you're needing to let yourself shine and come out of the closet, so to speak, um, and let the world see you for who you truly are. I feel like sometimes cancers like hide, you know, in their shell and... Um, it's, it's safer in that way, right? And that's the crab mentality. But uh, spirit is really wanting you to step outside and show the world who you truly are. Um, express who you truly are to those around you. And um, if you really care about something or somebody, express that, okay? Nothing is yet set in stone. What is that exactly? Like attachment to an outcome. Nothing is set in stone yet. You may think like, oh, if I do this, then this is absolutely going to happen. No, it's not. Like you, you are imagining the worst. Um, the outcome has not happened yet. Nothing is set in stone. So it could be a beautiful outcome, but you never know until you try. All right. There's a fork in the road. There's an indecision. I mean, look at this, you guys. If I can pick this freaking card up. You can't get any more clear than that. Okay. Okay. There's a massive decision that needs to be made on your end. And it's time to make it, all right? Let's get a few cards from the soul's journey. Okay, we have service. I feel good when I can help others. So some of you um, need to just step outside of your comfort zone and do some kind of charity or just do some stuff that helps other people okay and then you're kind of stepping outside of yourself you'll be able to step outside of that like restricted place within you if you kind of step outside of yourself we have adversity accept the challenges i accept that challenges are the best way to learn okay so you're dealing with some adversity you're dealing with some challenges right now but it is the best way to learn and you're learning a lot through this okay we have envy guilt and forgiveness um envy i am the same as everybody but with different challenges okay so you may look at other people right now and go oh man like they have it so easy like you know whatever in their life seems easy for them to move towards and make decisions and um or whatever it is and you're kind of looking and going why is it so hard for me why is why is it such a struggle for me to move on or why is it struggle such a struggle for me to let go of the past Okay, we have guilt. There's, you know, that guilt, that shame that you're feeling for feeling so stuck. Okay, let go. You got to let go of that too. Um, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Okay, forgiveness of the past. Forgiveness of what somebody has done to you and um, forgiveness for yourself. All right. Okay, you guys, let's get into the tarot and see what's going on here. What do we got for Cancer, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? There's the Justice card with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, okay? So the universe is trying to balance the scales for you and karmically create balance so that um, this Wheel of Fortune can start turning for you and turning in a, in a good direction where you're feeling like fate is on your side okay five of cups in the reverse letting go of the past releasing the past releasing past regrets and forgive forgiveness so 
the five of cups in that energy, you're very focused on the past. You're very focused on your regrets. You're focused on the things that hurt you. Okay. We have judgment. Yes. Okay. Judgment is about, um, aware, like awakening. Okay. It can be about recognizing the past and releasing it. So with next to the five of cups, I feel like this is about releasing the past. I feel like it's about taking an honest look at things that have happened and all of a sudden just going, you know what? I'm done. Like I've released it. It's not mine to carry anymore. It's not my burden to carry anymore. I mean, you see how like she is kind of coming out of herself and it's almost like she's freeing herself from that entrapment that she's felt for a long time is what I'm seeing there. Okay. Um, she's kind of holding herself really tightly here, but then so free here, right? So there's this freedom that needs to happen, releasing yourself from the past, from past regrets and guilt and shame and all of that. Okay. And this could be due to, um, a breakup. This could be due to hurts and wounds from childhood. This could be due to like losing some kind of significant job. I mean, it could be due to a lot of different things. So whatever that is for you, you know, you fit in your story. We have strength in the reverse, Leo energy. Maybe you can have Leo in your chart. You're dealing with a Leo. Um, you know, I feel like this situation from the past has zapped your strength. It zapped your courage. And you feel like, why am I, why has this made me so weak? Why can't I pick myself up and, you know, um, be strong and move on just like other people can. And I, I do feel like cancer's, um, spirits kind of telling me like, it, it's a little bit harder for you guys to let go. Cause you hang on, you hang on to the emotions, you hang on to the hurt and to the pain. Um, and instead of just being able to just be like, yeah, it happened and like walk away from it, you may see others able to do that. And you're like, how do they do that? Why can't I do that? Why can't I just move on? Why can't I just walk away? Okay. You're, you're, you're sensitive people and that's okay. You know, um, you're, you're that way for a reason. Well, there's that. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. So I had four cards drop on the ground, two or like this. I won't, I'm not taking those, but then look at these two that were up the wheel and the justice card. I can't make this shit up. You guys. Okay. They were in the upright. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. I got to just see these other cards just because four of swords and the six of cups. Yeah. This is about releasing the past healing from the past. Okay. Letting go of past. Um, hurts and pains w through this healing process. I mean, that fits perfectly. Um, the justice and the wheel. This is the universe. Like I said, balancing the karmic scales to bring you guys finally, finally some good news. Okay. Finally some luck and um, like fate is on your side. All right. This is this energy here is the universe moving in a very, very big way for you. Now, I heard something last night from another reader and it really sparked some like thinking in me. And he was like, you know, I don't know if the universe really does anything to us or does anything for us. He said, you know, we have free will as people. But he said, I think that our higher selves I higher, our higher selves manifest certain things for us. And our higher self knows like, that it's time to, you know, break out of this healing time and break out of these, you know, negative thought patterns and stuff and manifest something um, in your world that brings you a level of success, prosperity, abundance, love, like anything. Okay. So that made me think, I mean, who knows what it all, how it all works, who knows, but I think that it's a beautiful thought to have that our higher self is working on our behalf to manifest the things that we need. But ultimately, I believe that the universe, um, it's always cr trying to create equilibrium. Like our bodies try to create equilibrium. Everything in the world creates equilibrium, right? Um, and it's no different when it comes to energy. So when something goes wrong, there's an e there's a, a balancing that needs to happen of the energies. And that's this justice card, okay? It's also about receiving justice, like for the wrongs that have happened to you. 
Um, it's the same with the legal system and how that works. You know, if something, if somebody wrongs you, they have to pay for that wrong. And it's like karmically kind of the same way. Um, so we all pay for our own debts and people will pay for their debts and what they did to us. But this is a beautiful combination, the justice card and the wheel, because this means that something is about to break free for you. Something is about to happen on your behalf and your luck is changing. The wheel is turning for you and you're about to experience some kind of new energy. Okay. Especially with this world card here, this new life card, it's in the reverse. This just means that there's some action that needs to be taken on your part with this decision. Okay. Make the decision. You don't know the outcome, but you need to make the decision and move forward in a direction either direction. Okay. It's fine. Everything will work out the way it needs to. All right. Um, I believe that there's really no wrong choices. It's just, we choose a direction. Maybe that door will close. If you choose that direction, it's not where you're supposed to go. You'll know that door is closed. Move the other way. Okay. So at least choose a direction to go. Seven of wands. Okay. Protecting yourself, feeling defensive right now, but also protecting your energy your spiritual energy and everything like that. I mean, this is a, a card of healing as well. And in another deck, it shows her pushing away darkness and there's a light around her in the middle and she's pushing away this darkness. And it's very much this beautiful energy of awakening, pushing away the things that are, you know, painful for her and experiencing light again. Okay. So anyways, we're going to move into the extended. I talked way too much, um, but we're going to look into this situation more in the love department. What's about to change for you in love? Um, if other cards come out as far as like finances and things like that, we will definitely talk about that. Okay. But our, our main focus will be on a love situation. So if you want to join me in the extended, look at all the information below and I hope to see you there. Okay. Bye you guys. Ten of pentacles. Ten of pentacles. All right, look at that strength on the bottom here with the, oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, we got the strength card on the bottom in the upright, four of cups, and we have the ace of cups, all right? Now, this is a brand new beginning. The four of cups can talk about a missed opportunity, not knowing what you had when you had it, okay? Missing an opportunity with somebody, feeling like I really missed out on knowing this person, loving this person um, and wanting that chance back. Okay. But there's your, your strength is rising up. Your strength is rising up and this new beginning is right on the horizon. And I'll tell you what this 10 of pentacles means. Okay. What spirit is saying through this 10 of pentacles, it's a beautiful, beautiful energy. It's something that is about to come towards you. It's something that you've been needing, you've been wanting, you've been desperate for. And um, it's a beautiful, beautiful message. So this is what spirit is saying, okay?